So, in recent months, since Galaxy's Edge has opened, people are talking about how Disney is losing a lot of money on it, and how the park is basically empty. And some of it is to do with prices for the park, and some of it is to do with people just don't care about Star Wars anymore. And the funny thing is, a lot of people who bitched about Jura the Jurassic franchise are now jumping on bitching about Star Wars, but if you look at the parks, the Jurassic franchise is doing a hell of a lot better than Star Wars. And I remember back when Fallen Kingdom came out, everybody was saying how Jurassic is dead again, Fallen Kingdom sucks, it's a piece of shit, and everything. But... When Jur the Jurassic Park franchise is alive and well and doing great, if you look at the parks. And the toys are winning awards, and I know Target is trying to murder the uh, Jurassic Park stuff because they uh, cl they clearanced out all the uh, Legacy line, and they, they don't want it anymore, making other countries get it. That's why, we, that's why in America we didn't get the Spinosaurus. I'm actually shocked we're getting the Brontosaurus. And I know a lot of people don't care about the Jurassic franchise, or if they do, they're very small, because the YouTube channel, which actually went to California and shot the footage, Clayton40, does have a lot of subscribers, and he's constantly talking about Jurassic Park, which is the reason I subscribe to him. And, the Jura and like, Lost World 3, and the stuff behind the scenes, and the books, and what's the differences, and these little-known facts and everything. Stuff you wouldn't know unless you search the web, like, really long time to do it. So I'm glad he's around in that. I'll leave a link to his actual video in the description if you just want to watch that instead. But if you look, the Jurassic World ride is one ride, a restaurant, and you get to see three dinosaurs walk around. That's it. Galaxy's Edge is an entire freaking park almost. It's its own little section. Just like Harry Potter in Orlando, it's one new ride. But that one new ride is beaten to shite out of Galaxy's Edge. Now, me personally, the Orlando one, because that's where I'm closer to, when it opens, I would want to go there just at least once, even if it's crappy. Just because Star Wars, even though I don't like The Last Jedi, and the Disney ones are kind of the bottom of the barrel, at least the episodes, because I will still say I still love, I still like uh, Rogue One and Solo. To me, was decent. I mean, I loved it when I first saw it, but the second and third viewings I did, like I watched it on uh, when I bought the when I bought the Blu-ray, and then I watched it again when I was at Star Wars Celebration, and they're not wasn't as good as the first time around. But it could be because I've been affected by everybody talking about it and everything. But also, maybe not because everybody's been bashing the shit out of DC and I can still enjoy Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. I know the ones people hate. And I also like Wonder Woman and Shazam and Aquaman, but the two that are hated are the ones that I like. I mean, they also, people also hate Suicide Squad and Justice League, but I'm on board with those ones, honestly. I still would have loved to see the director's cut version of those things, like David Ayer's actual Suicide Squad, Zack Snyder's actual Justice League. I would want to see those. So now we're going to go to the video. He actually shot more, but I'm more focused on how busy it is. Like, he actually shot the uh, raptor moving, blue moving around, the baby raptor puppet that they have, and uh, the Stegosaurus that's there that's walking around. And I would love it if they did this kind of thing in the Orlando one. Because I know the Orlando one is just Jurassic Park still. And it's just the uh, one ride. And maybe the, maybe the gift shop. And I've honestly never been there. Because, to be honest, I'm not really one for roller coasters. And Universal is Roller Coaster City. That's why I was always a SeaWorld person or a... We didn't really go to Disney very much, because SeaWorld was cheaper. Or Disney when I could, because there's not many roller coasters at Disney. Disney was mostly, you know, they had easy rides for people who didn't want to go around. They, or and I'm, and I'm a sightseer when I go to parks. Which is probably why I enjoy Galaxy's Edge a little more than other people, because I'm a sightseer. I'm not really a ride person. 
Which is why I don't go to them very often, because it's a lot of money just to sightsee. Now, Jurassic World The Ride is absolutely packed. I knew immediately when I walked into Universal and saw everyone making their way to the very back of the theme park that this was going to be filled with families, and wow, was I ever right. Greg and I actually had to go out of the normal line and into something they call Single Riders Line. This is where they will pick you one person at a time to fill up the boats that are the hour plus that it would have been going through the normal line. <laughs> Look at this line. And that's just like one part of the line. Like, check this out. How many people do you think are in this line? It's the perfect time to save on select Kia. Probably over 200 for sure. This this is only half. It's massive, man. Look at this line. So you guys get the idea. Okay, so now apart from the ride, I think it's important to talk about all of the other stuff that got upgraded in the park as well. And this, in my opinion, is by far the total highlight of the whole experience for me. There are currently three dinosaurs that you can actually interact with and see walking around the park if you go there right now. The first of which is Blue, the Velociraptor who is now part of the Raptor Encounter portion. Here you go, we have a random guy's uh, video. There are a lot of these floating around online about how empty Galaxy's Edge is. And compare these crowds to the crowds you just saw at Jurassic World. I mean, look at this. Look how empty it is behind this person. It's a cat they're trying to sell. Here's him actually walking out of the shopping area. And if you go to like Geeks and Gamers guys saying they talk about how empty it is and everything, the person who's doing this, if you want to know, is uh, Ordinary Adventures. And as I said, I'm a sightseer, so I probably would enjoy this type of thing, but I understand wholeheartedly how it's not everybody's cup of tea. Because I can get enjoyment just walking around stores. That's why I like stuff like Disney, or, well, yeah, now they call it down, now they call it Disney Springs, but it was downtown Disney. So I still find it funny how people always talk shit about the Jurassic franchise, about how the first one's the only good one, Lost World was stupid. Jurassic Park 3 was garbage. Jurassic World was just a rehash and it was stupid. Fallen Kingdom is a piece of crap movie, but yet the French the park is doing gangbusters it looks like. It looks like it's doing great. And the toys, at least the humans fly off the shelves when they pull out new ones. I mean, the Owen's kind of a peg warmer, but they put like 30 of them in a box. It's so like, you can't find uh, Clayton, the kid from the Fallen Kingdom. He's really rare to find. Or Maisie, you know, I found one. Other people scalp and just look at what, just type in Jurassic Park Legacy Spinosaurus and see how much those things are going for. And ever since World came out, people are talking about how they like uh, Lost World now. And to me, I like all of them. Even Fallen Kingdom. Even though it's the worst of all of them, I still like it. And Fallen Kingdom was kind of ruined by Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy hired Ryan... 
not Ryan Johnson, hired, uh, can't think of his damn name now, Colin Trevorrow to do episode nine, and so he was working on that, so he handed over the writing of Fallen Kingdom, he just said, okay, this is what I need you to do. I need you to get the dinosaurs off the island. I need you to save Blue, Rexy, and a couple others. And keep Owen and Claire and Dr. Wu alive. The rest of it, do whatever you want. But set up dinosaurs on the mainland. And he went to go do Star Wars. That's why if you look at Fallen Kingdom, he's only a producer of the movie. So he went off to go do his Star Wars, and he want, he didn't want to kill Luke. He wanted to keep Luke alive. He wanted Luke to be the hero of the last movie, but Kathleen Kennedy didn't want to, because from what I see, she wanted Han to die in 7, Luke to die in 8, and she probably wanted Leia to die in 9. So that she can go on with the new characters and everything. But that's not fact. And she didn't like... Him, and she didn't like that his story that he was making because, you know, he wanted Luke to be the hero. He, if you look at how the Jurassic series is, he has the characters being equal footing. You have, they have different sets of skills. At least with a uh, world, even though Claire was in high heels and a skirt, she kept up with Owen, who was an ex-Marine. And in Star Wars, they want, or how Kathleen has set it up, she wants Rey to be the badass and Finn to be the doofus and Poe to be taken down notches because he, he was too hard. He, to, even though he was barely in Seven, he was too uh, masculine, toxic masculinity for them. Which is why I'm shocked Laura Dern was killed in Seven because, you know, the purple-haired leader who is the admiral of the fleet or a general of the fleet, you think they would have kept her around longer, not just kill her off in one second. And instead of the usual cliche in movies of the guy stealing a kiss, Rose stole the kiss in seven. Or eight, I mean, sorry. How much I've watched these films. I've watched uh, The Last Jedi, the actual movie, twice. Once in theaters... And once to edit it for myself. And then I've watched my version, The Lost Jedi, once. Hey, it's cop outside. And I watched Ivan's version once. So I've kind of watched the movie four times, but I've only watched it twice, really. So, what do you think of the Jurassic Park's area being a hell of a lot more busier than Galaxy's Edge? Comment, don't comment, like... Don't like, subscribe, unsubscribe, and as always, YouTube is still free at the moment, and have a good one.